Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Kalimera, Kalispera, depending on where you are in the world. This is Kathy from Divine Debut bringing you yet another daily Divine Spread. Even though I'm going to be doing it differently today, it's still a Divine Spread as I do ask for guidance from Spirit. Therefore, this, these are messages that come to you from Spirit. These are messages for everyone. Of course, it's a general reading. It will not apply to all of you. So today is the 2nd of July of 2020, everyone. Okay, happy birthday, if it is your birthday today. Okay, 2020, 2nd of July. That's uh, three twos, right? Twos are all about balance. Uh, reoccurring numbers are very important, of course. It would be interesting um, when we have on the 22nd of July, that'll be interesting, 22nd of 2020, that'll be four twos. So what I feel with that is that it's saying that we're on our way to finding our balance. We're trying to find balance where our security is concerned. Okay, that's what I feel that that message is um, for today. And from now until the 22nd, I do believe that we're going to have more of an indication of what is going to stabilize for us because we're on the road to that. Now, astrologically speaking, everyone, Yes, we've got that full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn in about three days. Um, I will be doing that reading today. So you will have that in the next few hours, how that eclipse will affect everyone, all the zodiac signs individually. Saturn has now moved back. It's ingressed back as it's in retrograde motion back into the sign of Capricorn where it loves to be, that's its rulership, right? Now, because the outer planets have got a wide orb, so even when they're, let's say, five, six, seven degrees apart, they still feel each other. So Saturn at 29 degrees, Pluto 24 degrees, and Jupiter 23 degrees. They're all very in very close vicinity of each other. So. What I feel with this is that we are, because Saturn is the, uh, it is a karmic energy. It does deal with leadership, control, governments, work, the boss, the father, um, even the narcissist, I'm going to say, for some of you. This is a revisiting of back towards the beginning of the year when we had very potent energies. Um, the difference, of course, here is that we're in retrograde time. So this is a chance for everyone to go inwards, okay, trying to work on what was going on in the beginning of the year. And not only that, I, I do see it as a really good and positive thing. Why? Because with the break that we have, you know, when retrogrades a planet, uh, when retrograde planets, sorry, give us that chance, it's like being given a break, being cutting some slack for us, okay, to work on things that haven't been working. Saturn is rewards through hard work. Pluto is transformation, okay? Jupiter is expansion, abundance, maybe even the law, tr our truth. So I do see this as a chance that Saturn is coming closer again to Pluto and Gem uh, Jupiter. For what did not work at the beginning of the year, this is the chance to work on things, to revamp things, redo things anything to do with our transformation, something that is long-term, and it's like a new, having a new lease on life. It's a new beginning all round, whether it's on a personal scale or a collective scale. 
Now the moon is transiting through Sagittarius, so very positive, very jovial. We know Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Okay, this is also Sagittarius is the truth, it's the philosopher, it's adventurous. And nothing much else has changed since I spoke to you yesterday. We're now mainly looking towards the eclipse and I want to point out very importantly to all of you that don't know this, eclipse energies last six months. Okay, the reading that will be uploaded today, tomorrow and in relation to this eclipse is not only for the 4th or 5th of July everyone. Okay, it's something that we're moving towards. It's a long um, period of time, six months, and the further away we get from the eclipse, the least potent are the energies. So we're already in that eclipse energy. And things could be showing up for each of us, okay? Do look out for that video because I will be telling you how we will be affected. Okay, now today I'm doing it differently. What I'd like to do is take the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine. Where is the Divine Feminine in? Where is the Divine Masculine in? Whether it is a romantic relationship, a commitment, um, whether it is someone who's more on the feminine side, someone who's more on the masculine side. This doesn't have to only be for love, okay? because relationships are going through major changes. Not only romantic, we've got business, we've got family, okay? So the Divine Feminine will be more recessive, Divine Masculine is more someone who is, you know, in their cardinal energy, they want to take the action. Um, they don't sit back, they more go for what they want to achieve. So you can take, because we've got a lot of cross watches, you can take the reading how it suits you. Let's take, let's take the Karma Dharma. Okay, so I would say more than likely, and for a lot of you, you could see it as the left side being you, whether even if you're um, male, doesn't matter, okay? and the right side is the other person. So you could see the reading from whichever side it suits you and your personal story. Let's take the message for the left. We've got the hanging man and this is Pisces. This is uh, things stopped, nothing moving here. Okay, the hanging man is also spirit. It's very spiritual. It's ending some sort of a cycle. This is saying release and just go with the flow. Pisces is also very magical, but it can also mean, you know, it is ruled by Neptune, therefore it can mean confusion. Okay, someone's waiting to receive those messages from spirit to be enlightened about what's going on. Let's um, take the other person, wow, and we've got the devil card here. This is Capricorn. Okay, so we know that the devil is karma, it is Saturnian, okay, someone is trying to come out of a difficult situation, a in some sort of an imprisonment, whether it's governmental commitment, family, work, um, karma, just in general, okay, whatever the case is, but the fact that the card here shows that the the cage is open, it's a matter of choice. Now because we're having that full moon in Capricorn, okay, and of course this is a card of fears as well, um, this person may be able to release themselves from what, whatever this holding uh, back is from fear concerning, okay, so whatever they've been stopped and trying to manifest, trying to work hard, to prove themselves, they've become the elder, the wiser. This could also be someone who, for instance, is taking the throne, they're becoming the boss through their experiences. Now, of course, the devil can mean restrictions, addictions, vices, um, 
it's very materialistic it's very heavy we know that also Saturn in Capricorn can be heavy but it's also rewarding when you come out to the other side here we've got Neptune and what's interesting is that um, as Saturn is coming backwards closer clo and closer because Neptune is at 20 degrees of Pisces and Saturn is retrograding backwards so at some point and it's already starting to sextile so Capricorn let's say Saturn in Capricorn and Neptune in Pisces a sextile is helpful energy so everyone let's take some cards for the left side here we have page of pentacles we have the emperor we have the queen of cups let's take for this side here we have the four of wands we have the six of swords and we have the eight of pentacles let's take more cards we have the king of wands we have the six of cups and one more card we have wow we've got a reverse card we've got the four of pentacles in the reverse let's take the divine masculine we've got the chariot which is cancer we've got cancer capricorn interesting we've got eight of cups and we've got temperance okay let's take more cards let's have a look at the uh, Moonology Oracle this one jumped so I'll take it for the Divine Feminine or you and we've got a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo let's have a look at the divine masculine or the other person the masculine energies and we've got don't let your past hold you back south node talk about karma talk about karma let's take some more cards let's take some Lenormand on each side let's take the divine feminine or your position we've got the love card we've got the clover and we've got the Divine Masculine now let's take the other side as well and you know these cards that I'm using now are the Lenormand fortune telling which is saying that of course we're looking at things to do with luck but also looking at the future of each side here of each person let's take the cards here we've got the child we've got the moon and we've got the stars beautiful and let's take some romance angels
So the Divine Feminine or the position of you. We've got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. And let's, wow, when too many cards, too many cards. I'm going to take the top card, everyone, past life relationship. Um, so, so I don't see the cards beneath. Let's take the past life relationship. And I'd like to choose one um, myself as well. So you have known each other before. Let's take one more card. And we've got wedding. This situation involves marriage. Wow, okay. You're probably going to say now it's not fair that I didn't take another card for the uh, left side. So let me take one more card. And we've got this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting indeed. Okay, so what I see here, the position of you and the position of the other person, right? whether you're uh, female or male, doesn't matter. As I said, this is the divine feminine. Take the energies as you please. First of all, we've got the page of pentacles here, which is the student. This is someone who is studying something. This is something that's begun in the past. Okay. Um, whether this is something to do with work. Okay. We go from the page, which is the student, and we've got the emperor here, which could be a teacher. Um, but this could be also a lot of work being done, a lot of work. Whatever you've been working on or a project that you've been working on, you've been pushing, you know, um, and working really, really hard. Because I do see the Emperor as obviously it's Saturnian, which says you've been working on this for quite some time. You've gone through hell and back, okay? You found the doors closed, but you did not give up. The emperor does not show emotion. It's all about business. Now, these are blockages as well. All right. Um, but with the queen of cups here, you've got a lot of uh, creativity. With the queen of cups, strong intuition, strong perception. Um, through the third eye, I'm going to say here. And the queen of cups, of course, is very nurturing. So after all the hardship, um, you know, your heart is open, okay? Queen of Cups is someone who is with an open heart, all right? So, um, and we know that the Queen of Cups is very intuitive as well. Now, King of Rods is someone that's very creative as well, someone who is a go-getter. So what I see is here with the blockages, um, you were more recept receptive as the Queen of Cups is, and now let's say you're on the way to taking the action okay all right now this could also be of course these could be people that you're um, working with all right so the emperor could be the boss let's say the king of wands could be someone else that you work with someone that this is a team effort doing really well because maybe you share history together or you've been soulmates in a past lifetime the Four of Pentacles is the miser card. Having it in the reverse says that this is great. I mean, for me, it goes back a step. You have not reached the Four of Pentacles. Um, so therefore, and Four, of course, Four of Pentacles in the upright can say that you've got some security, let's say, because it is a Four, and it speaks of your stability, your home. But in the reverse, it's Three of Pentacles, which means you are expanding, your efforts are being noticed, okay, you're on the way to a successful um, future, but you're at the initial stage of success, I would say here. There's more to come. Now, looking into love here, we've got two masculine figures here. We've got the emperor who is an elder and the king of wands who is obviously someone younger now I would say more than likely that there could be two people that you're dealing with for some of you but 
For others of you, of course, this could be the same person, someone with the emperor. This is someone who's got a lot on their plate, someone who had their door closed, someone who had many, many responsibilities and could not have that open heart. They did, they did not or could not show emotion. Um, and we know that the emperor is also someone very fiery, someone temperamental as well. King of Wands is someone who is action orientated. This is someone who is very driven. They like to show what they what they desire. They're open with their desires, with their passion. Okay, so this is someone who is that go getter. We've also got Six of Cups, which is a soulmate connection, but these are also children. So you could be dealing with, of course, some of you may be in a commitment where you share children. Uh, King of Wands could be um, someone that you are looking towards, okay? Someone that could be from your past, from a past lifetime. The Emperor, we know, is someone who they've been, you know, they've gone through a lot. And don't forget, they've become the elder wiser through um, difficulty as well. So this could also be a lesson for the Emperor here because his heart is closed, whereas you being the Queen of Cups, your heart is open, okay, and you're very attached um, romantically, um, maybe even to the soulmate, because we've got the King of Wands, who also is attached to the Six of Cups, so there is a desirous connection, but also a very emotional, romantic connection here. Now, the Emperor may have been a karmic connection, I'm going to say. Why? Because this is Saturnian. Maybe this was something long-lasting, uh, maybe even a commitment that you were in for many years. Okay, you had to learn the lessons. The Emperor, they had to learn their lesson that if they're not open emotionally, then that's probably their lesson. Okay, and whichever way it works because we can have the same person here someone who was not taking action because they had too much on their plate now the king of wands is someone yes who does move towards creating something okay opening their heart on this side here we've got the four of wands which is a marriage but there is usually in this card here the morgan Gree. i don't see celebration so I see this card as an empty victory. So someone's been married, they've been trapped in a commitment, whether it's work or marriage, where they've suffered, okay, and this is very karmic, past life relationships, right? Okay, this was meant to happen. Maybe they needed to come together in a commitment to release old karma, obligations from a past lifetime. Don't let the past hold you back, self-node. Very karmic indeed. This is what they need to be growing away from, okay? And we know that the self-node is also something very, very familiar. Now, the fact that we've got... We've also got, I want to say, Pisces here, which is unconditional love, and the devil, which is more... It's, uh, you know, uh, love of the uh, skin deep, so more of a sexual connection. So this person and your connection from the beginning was more erotic, let's say, whereas the Divine Feminine or this side, whoever is watching this video, um, whoever this video is for, there was more unconditional love and sacrifice, whereas with the Devil here, we know that the Devil is someone who does not get enough. Okay, I want more. There's a lot of ego here, egocentricity, maybe even narcissism. Okay, so what I see here that is that there was an empty happiness. Okay, so therefore, this person has left that behind. Now, this is, of course, the logic, this is thoughts. This person could be thinking or strategizing and planning a move, leaving a commitment which was karmic, uh, very demanding, 
very, uh, it brought up the worst side to them or they were dealing with someone that was their devil. So they received, of course, their lessons through the other person. And of course, we can say that usually in a, in a relationship, there is a reflection. Okay, one person reflects onto the other. So one person was the uh, teacher, the other person was the student, and the other way around. But this person here, whoever is really hard working, right? Eight of Pentacles, we've got Earth. So we've also got fire here, we've got air and earth. Here we've got, yes, fire, earth, water. Um, not so much air, even though the Emperor, I do see them as very, don't forget that Saturn also rules Aquarius. He does hold a sword as well, so I'm throwing Aquarius into this side here. Um, we've got Earth, we've got air, we've got water, and we've got Sagittarius as well as Cancer. Okay, uh, and Capricorn. So this person, whilst working, is uh, strategizing, uh, planning, um, looking at all the details of a major move. The chariot is someone that is moving, literally, physically, emotionally, leaving the past behind. This could be someone leaving a home where there was no happiness, there's empty happiness here. Whether it was their home of origin, for some of you that are single, or for those of you that were in a marriage, let's say, again, moving away. As you can see, we've also got the Eight of Cups here and we've got the Eclipsed Moon. So someone is this side, this person here is leaving. They're leaving and they're traveling. We've got Temperance, which is people at a distance, long dis distance travel for some of you. For others of you, this is short distance travel. Moving over land, this is moving over water. So it could be either. We do have land and water here in this card. Now, Temperance is Sagittarius. It's our truth, okay? This was meant to be everything in divine timing. The angels have been working. This person is trying to heal will be trying to heal as well, okay, through moving away from something that was really harsh for them, very much of a life lesson. Now here we've got the child, so this person may have a child with this commitment or this means newness. They've gone through death and transformation. We've also got the moon, which is our subconscious, it's also very nurturing, loving, and as I said in my last reading, the moon in the Lenormand uh, speaks of a very, very strong connection. Okay, very motherly, very deep and, you know, powerful love connection. Okay, um, number 32, which equals a five. Five is an imbalance. So obviously there was an imbalance where their emotions were. That's why they went trying to move towards something new. Now I'm going to say because the moon is also the mother. Uh, for some of you, someone could not move because of a mother figure or the child that they share with this mother. And we've got the stars. So they are moving and this is the tower. This could be sudden, very sudden that they're moving towards their wish fulfillment. Okay, this could also, they may also be going through a tower moment to break free from restrictions of the past. Now on this side, as I said, we've got love, we've got luck, and we've got the Divine Masculine. So the Divine Masculine is someone, of course, the masculine energy is someone who takes the action, okay? Someone that's going to move because the Divine Feminine is not the one that should be taking the action, more so whoever has got more masculine energy within them. Um, and we've got, let's have a look, we've got 24 here, which is a six. So that is balance, of course. Six is also the lovers, so choice between two, head over heart decision. We've got another two here with a clover, which says wherever you're moving to, wherever your heart is, that's where your luck is as well. 
and on this side here we've got calling in your soulmate this could be the one so for those of you that are watching this reading and you feel that this is your story yes you've met the person that was meant to be in your life but here we say a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo so we've got Virgo energies here as well and I'm gonna say um, because Virgo is of service to others and I do see it very closely as with the um, the card of Pisces the hanging man Pisces is right opposite Virgo so I'm gonna say someone's been giving more than the other person okay someone's been sacrificing more than the other person so I would say and you, you could take this message um, on the flip side as well okay so whatever works for you N whatever the case we've got new moon in Virgo so new moons mean new beginnings here we've got we've got something karmic something that needs to be let go of okay now I want to take a couple more cards I want to have a look at the uh, four of pentacles and why why it's in the reverse wow top card I will take which is the Sun everyone so we've got strong Leo here and this is a very divine connection very strong now Leo can mean children it can mean creativity creating something there will be success in whatever you're creating whether it's love or a family relation a partnership at work or even a divine union here and of course also children anything to do with children so whatever risk you're taking here and I'm gonna say if someone's been holding back and this could be you holding back on your emotions if you were dealing with someone that was not open emotionally speaking their truth then you held back but I do feel that you're gonna meet in the middle here let's take a look at the temperance card which can mean um, as I said Sagittarius Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter temperance is a card of hope a card of healing also a card of distance let's have a look and we've got wow the judgment card in the reverse which goes back because it is a 20 goes back to the 19 which is also the Sun and this is major arcana the angel here is saying that they're working for this person here to get a second chance there may have been a really harsh judgment this person is still trying to transform they're waiting on the angels to tell them that there is another chance for them another chance at life I do feel it's only a matter of time okay with the Sun card here as I said there has to be and this is a very very karmic card very karmic card as it can also speak of releasing once you know it is divine timing here and once the karma is released then this will be the indication that it's time to awaken awaken to a brand new life okay and looking here we've got a family situation where there is one child okay there is no life here that's why this person needs to take this chance and I would say it does deal a lot around the eclipse the full moon in Capricorn and as I was saying yesterday it can happen any time from now until the end of the year okay full moon in Capricorn means a culmination don't forget that all right, I'd like to take a couple of personalized messages. Okay. Let's take this side here. And we've got, please forgive me, I want another chance with you. We have win or lose, I'm going to take the chance, chance on love 
or chance at the casino. And here I do apologize, but I'm married. I know I lied, but now you know. Wow. We've got 611. There is karma here as well, everyone. There is karma. Um, someone wants forgiveness, obviously. They did, they did not open up about what their truth was. They took a chance and they got burnt. That's what I do see here. And now they're coming back with an apology. It's funny that we've got the empty victory card here. Someone not happy about being in a marriage. So I don't know how that speaks to you personally. Let's take three cards here as well. You are so hot, I want you, you drive me crazy. Now this is a card of passion, a lot of passion. Um, yeah, ties in very much with the devil. We've got, I want to marry you, I want to share my life with you. Looks like someone was not in the right connection here. You will always be in my heart, I can never or will ever forget you. Someone, it looks as though someone here, even though they want marriage, uh, it feels as though they're, they're losing hope, okay? It feels as though, for them, it seems as though it's quite impossible, okay? As they're still dealing with this. They haven't seen the light yet. We've got 18 and 4 is 22, 11 and 22. 11 and 11 equal 22. 22 is a master number. It is spirit. I want to take one more of the Moonology Oracle cards. As we know, the moon is our emotions. Let's take a little bit more information. We have, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. This says to have faith, okay? Something is obviously growing. Something is coming to be. Let's have a look at this, this side here, the other person. And we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So Aquarius is here as well. As I said, Aquarius and uh, Capricorn are both ruled by Saturn. Show the world the real you. So someone hasn't been showing themselves to the real world or they haven't been showing their true self, their true emotions. So this is a full moon in Aquarius. Something is culminating here, no doubt. Aquarius also deals with the future. Aquarius is also ruled by Uranus. So this could be someone breaking free, yes, the rebel. Someone breaking that mold, okay, and moving towards their wishes. We've got the stars here, everyone. The moon and the stars, how romantic. All right, let's take everyone, let's take a message for both sides, okay? One for each side with my chocolate message cards. And I'm going to say also that the wedding card here could mean the future as well. Once past life relationship, that connection is closed, the door closes, that karma is released. Someone wants a wedding here, okay? I want to marry you. I want to share my life with you. Right. Let's take. So, what's the first message? Oh, wow. <laughs> I want you to turn back the video and see. I think this card was on the top again. And this is exactly what happened on yesterday's reading. Please, if you have not watched that reading, go back and see it. I will be reading the card in a moment because that it happened exactly the same yesterday. Let's have a look at the divine, masculine or the other person. Okay. Let's take a card from the bottom and we have bar sadness. Wow, this person is very sad. Okay, it did come out in the reverse. I don't usually read these in the reverse. Take it as it suits your life, please. But I do feel that this person still cannot see their way out 
but they're going to see it. Okay, let's read this card first. This card can indicate a sense of sadness surrounding you at this time. It is important, therefore, that you not attempt to hide your feelings by pretending everything is okay. The outside shows a tough exterior, but inside it feels like life is falling apart. So that's what your divine masculine or the other person is going through. They're putting on a brave front, but they're not happy. Take a warm and relaxing aromatherapy bath, have a massage, sit in natural surroundings, and let the beauty of nature embrace you. Stop talking, stop taking on the worries of the world and allow the positive energies you seek heal you. And the affirmation is, I allow the sweetness in life to come my way. I accept all that is good for me as I make myself my number one priority. So this is saying that someone has sacrificed a lot, okay, and it's time for them to make themselves their number one priority. Because if someone does not love themselves and they're giving too much of themselves, doesn't look like uh, what they've given um, has been returned. So that means, obviously, that they've paid their karma, they've paid their dues, it's time for them to release that karma and for them to go towards something that will provide them with what they're ready to give as well. So, and since they've proven themselves, I think that the next relationship will give a lot more to this person. So fountain and abundance. Okay, this card affirms that despite how things may feel, life is overflowing with abundance. Your hard work has paid off and now is your time to reap the reward. Physically, emotionally and spiritually, you are on top of the world. Embrace the incoming tide of positive energy. Go with the flow, exactly like the uh, Pisces card here. Embrace the incoming tide of positive energy. Go with the flow, accept blessings with gratitude and know that you are brimming at, with abundance and good fortune. And the affirmation is, abundance is all around me. Abundance is my natural birthright. Now, if you haven't seen that abundance yet, everyone, as I said, with the hanging man, this is a moment of pause, but this is a cycle that is coming to an end, no doubt. And of course, this is spirit. This is Neptune. So we know that Neptune now going retrograde this will be able to give you the power to look through the veil. And I'm going to say, very importantly, on the weekend, the veil will be thin. Try and meditate, okay? That's when the answers come through spirit and through the divine. It says, have faith. Something is growing, okay? All right, I think I will leave it at that, everyone. I do hope that it gave you a little bit of, of information, a bit of clarity. I want to hear your comments. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and all your comments and especially your beautiful birthday wishes for my dad. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Sending you all lots of love. Look after yourselves.